Well, howdy folks, this is John Michael. Today we hear Jesus saying, you know, you didn't listen to John the Baptist and you're not listening to me. We played you a tune, but you didn't dance. We played you a dirge, but you didn't wail. You didn't weep. So I can relate to this. And I talk to pastors, you know, here in the United States, uh, Christianity is decreasing. In Catholic Christianity, only 17% of Catholics in America still come to church. Only 15% of our young people still come to church. 30 million non-practicing Catholics. We, the great Hispanic hope is a false hope. They come up here, they see us, God's frozen chosen, and they leave and they go to Pentecostalism. They don't find the depth in the Pentecostal expression that they find in their Catholicism. So they leave that and they end up secularized Americans, just as miserable as our kids, as our grandkids, as some of us. See, so, you know, uh, I go around the country. All things are possible with God. It doesn't mean they're probable. It means they're possible. It's up to us. Many people want to want revival in the church, but they don't want revival. You have to want revival. When you only want to want revival, you want somebody else to do it for you. When you want revival, that means you are willing to change. You are willing to step out of your safety zones, to step out of your boats, and to walk on water with Jesus. You say, we've been doing this for years. I go, yeah, how's that? Words of Dr. Phil, how's that working for you? Yeah, we're losing people, bleeding people. The church is exploding in Africa and Asia. They sing, they dance, they celebrate, they preach with fire, they see miracles, they celebrate the sacraments. Here in the United States and Western Europe and, you know, Australia, New Zealand, we become basically secular humanists. We become rationalists. So we don't see miracles. We don't celebrate. We're too intimidated. We're too inhibited. Oh, do I look cool if I raise my hands? And No, you don't. Guess what? Newsflash. You don't look cool. <laughs> Give that up. So we have to let go of all that. See? So we need to learn how to celebrate, and we need to learn how to weep. Jesus is, and John the Baptist are playing us a tune. We should dance. They're playing a funeral dirge. We should weep and not be stuck in this gray middle, like mummies in a museum, as the Pope calls us, like people in, stuck in a perpetual limp. Come out! Respond. I love you guys. All things, even this, all things are possible with God.